let's talk about our awesome things of the week. Chilla, what do you got this week? So I've been, I constantly play around with virtualization, so I have to carry less devices. So mine's actually a newer Android emulator that runs on top of Windows. And I'm not 100%. It's from America Megatrends. If you remember those, they made BIOS. They made all kinds of hardware yeah. back in the day. Yeah, I had one of those uh, tripods or those uh, motherboards. Tripods, yeah. What the hell? So, so they actually came out with an Android emulator. And I'm guessing it's Ami Duos. It's A M I D U O S is how it's spelled. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm guessing they're playing on their, obviously their name and then the, the fact that you're running dual OSs. Everything um, back then was, it was AM. AMI, like yeah. Am, Am, Ami BIOS and stuff like that. Like mm-hmm. it, that's, I think that's what they're kind of, that, that's how they name things, I guess. Right. But it, it, so, so they're, they're, they're letting you run Android right on top of, of windows. Um, yeah. And I've used, I've used other apps like um, Android X86, uh, which is kind of runs in a virtual machine. I've run BlueStacks. Um, BlueStacks has really poor performance, if, if you ask me. Um, but they seem to have gone to great lengths to provide a pretty good experience. And one of the things that I'm interested in playing around with as well is they have kind of an input mapper. Um, they have some extra camera capabilities, some GPS. Uh, if your device has hardware GPS in it, it can, it can leverage that. So they seem to be taking the Android virtualization to the next level. I want to do some some testing on it that I I haven't gotten to do yet. Where a lot of the Android VMs or virtualized environments come up as they're rooted. Um, so depending, some apps that won't run on rooted devices um, won't run. But one of, one of the things that I noticed right out of the box for them is their app store is a little more polished because they, they do give access to the Android or the um, uh, what's it called Amazon app store um, as well as there's some workarounds to get the actual Google play store. So pretty much anything you can get on Android, you should be able to easily load up. And when you think about trying to do things, specific things with uh, Instagram or, or products like that, that are, that are Android or tablet OS only, or phone OS only that you can't necessarily get on a Windows machine. Um, this is where this is where this comes in handy for me, so I don't have to carry around a backpack with three tablets, two phones, etc. Um, so, I, like I said, the one thing that's really impressed me about this is the it's it's not slow and sluggish. I, I feel like Blue Stacks really just it, it takes a long time to boot. It, it, it's just very sluggish. Their UI, they wrote their own UI, so they have their own loader, um, which takes a little bit of getting used to. And then where you have x86, it's a little bit faster than BlueStacks, but it, it's very quirky with mouse movement and with, with other things where, where, this, where this really shines in its, its processing power and its capability. So I'll... I'll, I'll provide an update maybe next week on the whole uh if it if it does show up as 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 rooted um but I, i'm really liking this so far you know i'm really curious if something like this because I, I i just uh if you see my twitter I, I just conducted a class today on instagram snapchat and pinterest and one of the things was you know one of the kind of hang-ups for me is that you can only do pinterest or i'm sorry instagram and snapchat in particular over an app on something like android for instance mm-hmm. Could this open up a workflow for somebody who's, say, a social media worker that um, that you know needs to manage maybe multiple accounts or, or or wants to be able to do that from their desktop, for instance? You know, is this a kind of a way around to uh, and not just Instagram, of course, but uh, of course, I'm sure Snapchat and everything. You know, you have to do it more directly, of course. But uh, does that open that up, or is this kind of too heavy of a solution for that kind of situation? You think? I don't think this is too heavy because I mean, it's pretty much any any machine with at least two gig of RAM. I, I'm not mm-hmm. sure it's going to be. I have four gig is, in my machine it, and it runs extremely I, I, well. I'm not. I'm but, the heavy as in is it too much to do just to take care of that task for a social media person? I, I don't think so because it's it's not, especially with like this and blue stacks. It's mm-hmm. not. Go find this virtual machine. Go find this. Configure this. Configure that. BlueStacks and, and this product 
allow it's pretty much a run a setup and you're you're good to go. Okay. If you can configure your own Android device with a Gmail account, you can figure this out. Um, and and I to, to the point of I, I think this is the perfect type of tool for those for those individuals so they don't have to go out and buy.